Welcome to MaxSurf Webinar 4, Video 6 on Limiting KG Analysis. Now that we've looked at how criteria are defined, we can see how we can use them to predict the maximum VCG that's acceptable for the vessel to still pass its requirements of stability criteria. The inputs to a limiting KG analysis are a range of displacements at which we want to consider stability, the actual stability criteria that will be checked at each displacement, what analysis conditions we want to use in terms of the heel angles to be used for stability and whether or not trim is fixed or free to trim. And also if we're carrying out a batch analysis we can uh, calculate results for a range of individual criteria so we can choose whether we want to do a normal or a batch analysis. Once the limiting kg analysis is run it will compute the maximum kg or the maximum location of the vertical center of gravity to allow the vessel to just pass its stability criteria. When that's calculated it will also report which stability criteria is the limiting one for the maximum VCG. The graph on the right hand side of this slide indicates how different criteria can vary with different displacement and individually control the VCG. So each graph shows how a particular criterion varies the VCG or the max VCG as displacement varies. So you can see you can get quite different effects from different criterion at different uh, displacements. Hydromax and limiting kg analysis will automatically find which is the worst case at each displacement. Let's move over to Hydromax and first we choose from the analysis menu to choose a limiting kg analysis. As usual we then work our way through the analysis menu and uh, choose the range of heel angles we want to use. I'm going to use 0 to 180 degrees in heel. Uh, we want to check how we specify our trim. So we can either use a fixed trim or we can allow trim to vary freely at each angle of heel and we can either do that by specifying a prescribed LCG indirectly via the trim setting or we can specify the distance of the LCG from the zero point. We can make a similar setting for the transverse center of gravity. Uh, other settings from the analysis menu, of course we're going to specify a range of displacements. So here I've specified a range of displacements from 2500 tons to 3500 tons in five increments. That uh, completes our setup. We can see there's no other menu items under that menu. So we would run the stability analysis in the normal way. It takes quite some time to run large angle stability at all of those different displacements and repeatedly ranging the vertical center of gravity. So I've already run that and we can now move to the results table and see the results. What we'll get is one row in the table for each displacement and then within each row it will show the results of the analysis. So it will show the maximum vertical center of gravity that was achieved and still passed the criteria. The limiting kg in this case because the center of, uh, center of the coordinate system is at the keel those two values are the same and we can then see which is the governing criteria uh, which has limited the vertical center of gravity. If we want to view that in graphical form we can see from the graph how kg varies or the limiting kg varies at the range of displacements and you can see here as the displacement increases the limiting kg decreases somewhat. One thing you should note is that when you look at the criteria results window you'll actually see that the criteria results say not analyzed and that's because the final analysis run may not necessarily be the one that causes the uh, limiting kg to be triggered. So if you want to take your results and then compare them to a normal stability analysis an easy way to do that is to choose a particular displacement, let's say this 3000 tons, and select the CG values in this table. Then you can switch over to the load case window, create a new load case and make it be a load group. That means no tanks are included. We're just going to have one simple entry. Put in the mass that we're using, which is 3000 kilos, and paste in that value of the longitudinal center of gravity. Now in the large angle stability set the criteria to the same values that we've used for the uh, limiting kg and then run that large angle stability analysis. So while that large angle stability analysis runs when it's complete we can then review the stability criteria 
and compare that that should give the same values that we had as the limiting criteria that we used in the limiting kg analysis. That completes our summary of limiting kg. Thank you for watching.